It's pure classic Philadelphia basketball here this afternoon inside Hagen Arena. The number 23 Villanova Wildcats, six and two, make the short track over to St. Joe's. This is a great feel for the game. Sadiq Bay with the ball. He's the leading scorer for Villanova at 16 a game. Here's Colin Gillespie who puts in the three-pointer. You also think about that. Bill Lang Sr., his father, Timmy Lenahan in South Jersey, Herb McGee, I mean, Hall of Famer, Jay Wright, likely Hall of Famer, even Brent Brown. I mean, this is a guy, Speedy Morris at LaSalle, until he took this job. And shooting's going to be the challenge. Good defense there. Got to capitalize. What a rejection from behind by Samuels, but it's cleaned up under the basket by Miles Douglas. Chances to win. Florida had a chance to win. Beat UConn. Shot the ball well. Bay gets to the basket, just lowers the shoulder right into Cameron Brown. Is rejected by Samuels. The Hawks still keep possession. Allowed and out for Edwards. Five or six shot attempts there. The Hawks come away with the bucket. Foul there on St. Joe's Ramir Moore. Height advantage there belonged to Bay. That allowed him to get the second opportunity, and it's high off the glass for two. Gillespie pushes, blows right by Longpre. That's an easy layup as he went by the native Quebecer. On the back cut, it was strength from Sharif Knox, the freshman from here in Philadelphia. It counts sometimes. It's the genius in your head then. <laughs> you get to experience more. Goes right past Longpre again. He's a big guy, 6'10", 245. Out of position last couple times down the floor. High speed, though. He makes up for it as Brown gets the dunk. That's what we talked about if you're chasing. Justin Moore running the point with Colin Gillespie going to the bench for the moment for Villanova. Foul is on Sharif Knox. Every set Michigan State ran, the problem was they were better than <laughs> Just five to shoot, Daly on a streak to the basket, rattles it through. Gotta be the aggressor. St. Joe started three for 19. They've made their last three buckets, counting that one as this year, as the Hawks have started out two and seven. Gillespie pivoting around the basket, oh, man. and a nice reverse lay-in for Jermaine Samuel. 12 of those 30, you're in a good spot. So it's, they're just a few off. Gillespie, hesitation, goaltending. Made three of the afternoon. The loose carom falls to Bay. It's Gillespie on the run. 15-footer for the point guard. Here we go. It's less about winning. No one wants to hear this, but it's less about winning. It's more about competing. Slater's pass up ahead for Bay. Flushes it through. It has been a matchup nightmare for Anthony Longpre to try and keep anybody in front in the first. That's a luxury. They are, as we've discussed, balance. The only team in the country that can say one thing. So they're all going to get theirs. Samuels was ready to catch, never brought the ball down, and he puts it through. Which just got its first basket last trip down the floor since about the 11 minute mark. Daly creates, took a shot to the nose as he finished. Out and Swider regains control for Villanova. Everybody sees the open man. Samuels gets the roll. Daly picks it up. Numerical advantage for St. Joe's. The three pointer oh. drops, and there's what they needed. There wasn't a foul called in there somewhere. Daly lowers the shoulder like a running back and shoves Samuels out of the way. Nova's already got three players with at least 10 points. Gillespie, Samuels, and here's Bay, who's got 10. There's five to shoot, and with the left hand, it's right through the rim. It's all fanatical, right? <laughs> Inside for Daly. He's got a dozen. He's their leading scorer at 21 a game. Doors for the rebound as St. Joe's tries to make this a 10-point game. Or how about a three-pointer to make it a nine-point game? Garbage. Oh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't learn that one from Jada. <laughs> Billy, Billy was an NBA guy. He's got different tastes. Came from the Sixers. And in terms of what he thinks the A-10 may get in the NCAA tournament, but, but there are some high-level teams this year.
And they've got one of just a handful of undefeated teams left in the country in Duquesne. There's another three-pointer for Sharif Knox. It's Edwards with seven. Off the inbounds, quick trigger. There's a three-pointer for Cameron Brown. Oh, no, he don't play. Uh, and that's why guys like Colin Gillespie are so important. It's not just his ability to produce on the floor. It's also the communication. And it appears I'm the only one with my hand raised for that. Daly now has 17 to lead the Hawks. Felt was there was enough contact there that the contact caused the trap. So he called foul on the contact. That's a big play right there. That's a big swing. And it happens space. Force jumpers, you can't give up a drive to the basket. A bit of a liability defensively. Moore with the drive and kick. That's the three-pointer. And long play score one-on-one. -on -one. He fades right. and delivers. Averaging about eight a game. You gotta be able to limit the offensive rebounds though and second chance opportunities like those for Justin Moore. First option is gonna be Daly and that's the easiest look he's had all day. In this possession, further and further toward midcourt. Daly dribbled off his foot. <laughs> and as Slater fell to the ground, he collected and scored. It would have been an N1. Yeah, I, I don't I didn't like it. Beautiful That's finger roll for Moore. That big time answer to a good stop. Wow. High off glass for Douglas. Wow. Moore with the hesitation lowers the shoulder. Back to back buckets That's for the it. freshman. That's it. Right upon one guy. Bay with the blow by. 252 Villanova St. Joe's a big five showdown here at Hagen Arena in Philadelphia That time the foul goes St. Joe's way Daly gets the bucket defensive possession We've seen from St. Joe's That's one of them. I, I say that was one of them. They've had a couple good ones where they've won their individual battle. What a finish Daly's got 26 and St. Joe's is back within five Edwards wants three Offensive rebound for Moore. Get it while you're hot. And a deep one. It's good for Cameron Brown. Nobody to clean up the backside. Yeah. That's never led. Oh, that's th such a nice finish from Bay, who has body control and the about what he did created rhythm into that shot. Thinking back over the last couple minutes as Moore hits that 15-footer. Ryan Daly has tried to do it all today. He sat. I mean, versatility, strength. This is a lineup that's going to be really tough to score on, especially if they double the ball. Daly again. Well, chairs in the process, and baseline or sideline, there's not a lot of room to spare in this gym. That makes sense. Like, you've got to be consistent in your approach, and I think he's showing that he's willing to live through some struggles to get to where they want to go. And Villanova's at a place where they continue to build on this strong foundation. From start to finish, Villanova leads in this one. They led by 16 at the half. It was a one-possession game a couple times in the second, but Nova is your winner.